my style, I think, to Unique because definitely I'm the most create strike in MMA. Edson Barboza, he's fun to watch. He's one of the more dynamic kickboxers in the UFC. I have knockouts with it. Low kick, body kick, high kick, the fly knee. I have knockouts with a punch. I have knocked down with a body shot. Beautiful technique by Barboza. My strike background, I was competing a lot in Taekwondo and Muay Thai. That's part of my whole life. I do this my whole life. It's so easy to go in the octagon, you put everything there. Watch these kicks. I mean, he executes them perfectly with beautiful technique. Definitely prefer kicking and punch because kicks hard. Oh, man. You could hear that one. Whatever connect the kick, low body or high, I hurt my opponent for sure. I'm Edson Barboza. This is my signature series. First move, leg kicks. The leg kicks, definitely strong part of my game. I hurt many, many people. I mean, he's a one-legged fighter right now. Most people don't believe in the leg kick. I really believe. I know if I connect one, you'll be fine. If I connect two, you'll be fine. But if you connect to three, four, five leg kicks on you, the fight's over. This hit is all over. I know when I connect the good leg kicks, the face of my opponents change. It's crazy. And the most guys change the fight stance. That's I know, OK, I hurt you, bro. Barboza putting on a striking clinic here. Yeah, he is. Range is very important. Keep a little bit distance. Fake the jab. Make the guys care for the shot, for the punch. Throw the kick, always try to connect with the shin and go beat the leg. If you turn too much, you're gonna hold your leg and try to take you down. I try to be square a little bit, whip in and come back. I really prefer to kick the top of the leg because calf kick, it's so easy to defend and it's very dangerous when somebody know how defense the calf kick. That's why I prefer kick the leg. It's a big muscle, and if you see my background, work very well. Barboza, Oliveira, here we go. You don't need much power to drop the guy with the leg kick. You need consistency. Another heavy leg kick. He this can't do it crazy. much stronger. That's it. That's, That's it. it. And it's all over. Edson Barboza finishes a fight via leg kicks once again. Next up, the switch kick. The switch kick, definitely one of my favorite moves. It's coming from Muay Thai. I spent years just stop in front of the bag and switch kick, switch kick, switch kick for hours. I think that's a, my best move in the fight. Oh, man, those are hard. It's very safe movement for me. Whatever the sweet kick connect in the body or arm is too hard a lot. It's so hard to defend. It try counter attack or hold the leg. It's a very powered movement. Look at this big body kick that lands. When you switch, my bottom leg need to be a point. The power is coming from the hips. Keep your foot ready to go, turn your foot, and just throw the legs. My fight against Dan Hooker, I connected him like a three times, like a straight, like switch kick. He defends well, but I throw again, I throw again, and yeah, I hurt him. Oh, big body shot. Right back to the body. Hooker goes down. Edson Barboza. Great performance by Edson. Finally, the spinning heel kick. The spinning heel kick, I learned in Taekwondo. I really believe I throw this kick every fight because I try to be surprised. You know, I try to do some regular kick. The most guys throw like a low kick and body kick. And this one's coming from nothing, you know? That's very efficient kick and very, very strong. 
the best time to throw the heel kick when your opponent step in. When your guy come in, you know he's gonna be there. Oh! It's very important to use a fence with your eyes. I use fence with my eyes all the time. Looking down, most guys think about, okay, he's gonna attack my leg. That's gonna throw the spin. Big oh, first round. The wheel kick. And when you're pinning, it's very important to stay in the ball of the feet because if you have a flat foot, you can't spin fast. Stay in the ball of the feet and circle your upper body really fast. Your leg just fall really fast. Sometimes you don't need to connect clean. So many times I connect this kick not clean, but this kick makes your opponent scare and the fight complete change. Oh, spinning kick! But if you connect clean, the fight's over. In my fight against Terry Ethan, their fight, I remember I connected him a couple kicks on the body first. When I connect the low kick, I will step back a little bit. I force him to step in. And I know he's scared for the body shot. That's when I go on the face. Wow! I tried the movement and I connected the famous kick, you know? Maybe the most spectacular knockout in UFC history. When I connect, I saw his go down like a tree, and I know the fight's over. I was very, very happy. That's the, the kick changed my life. And the winner, by knockout, Edson Jr. Boxing.